Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Martha Messenger. We're back with another video. This one's going to be about seven signs God is protecting you from evil. Now, this is not just based on someone. This is also ba based on, you know, protecting you from not just a relationship or friendship, but whatever business you got going on. Or let's say if you're about to go out, God could be protecting you. You know, things like that. I don't want to make this two videos. So I just put it all together in one. Also, before I start this video, be careful in the comment section. There's people using fake pages of me, scamming people. I don't have WhatsApp. I don't have Telegram. So let's get it. Let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Seven signs God's protecting you from evil. Number one. Ooh, this is so, man, this would be a classic, guys. There's always a delay. There's always a delay or detour in your plan. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So let's say you're about to meet someone. Now, this is based on someone, okay? And, or maybe something too, okay? And like, y'all about to meet up. Y'all had plans. Y'all planned it weeks and days, you know, months before. And then when that day is approaching, or when the day is actually here, you know, now you notice that there's a delay. Something happens, okay? You know, something happens where you don't meet up with that person or whatever thing you got going on just doesn't, you know, go forth. And this happens many times. It happens multiple times, not just one time. That could be a sign from God that God's protecting you from something that's not meant to be in your life, something that's going to bring you back, you know, something that's of evil. That's not of him, okay? So this is the number one thing that will happen, guys. There's going to be delays, okay? There's going to be a huge you know, cycle of you waiting and, you know, wondering why, you know, what what's happening, what's going on. You know, you kind of get led to confusion, right? And we all know confusion doesn't come from God. So always understand that that's the number one sign of God protecting you from evil. When you feel like there's there's always a delay when you're supposed to meet something or, some, or someone or something, there's always a delay, right? That is a sign number one, okay? And there's many times, guys, where, when, before I go number two, there's many times where God was delaying something, but like, I was like, forget, forget God's will. You know, I, I didn't know this at the time, right? This is years ago. So I said, forget God's will, right? And I went my own way and it led to destruction. Okay, it led me to be getting heartbroken. Uh, many things that happened, okay? But even though God was protecting me, but I was like, nah, you know, I'm gonna I'm tr I'm put, put my own trust in my heart, you know? Follow your heart, that's what they tell you, all right? No, who, who whoever puts his tr um, trust in his heart is a fool. All right, number two, you find out so much true colors early on, okay? God will give you an increase of discernment. Okay, discernment is the gift of the Holy Spirit. So God will put it in you to see so much true colors. Okay, and and it's it's a blessing to see it early on because sometimes guys, you know, God and God He always shows us. God's always showing us, but we don't listen. And then it's now because we don't listen, we don't hearken into the voice of the Lord. Now we get punished. Now we get cursed. Okay, now we get pushed backward because God was already warning us. He was already giving us the true colors to begin. But we wait. We wanted to, you know, like I said, trust our own heart, follow your own heart. Okay, be led by your flesh and not the Spirit. Okay, and now you know, now you get hurt, now you get betrayed, now you got now you got robbed, stolen from, lied to, cheated on, whatever the case may be. So God will show you so much true colors early on. Facts, guys, facts. And like I said, he, he shows us in the beginning, right? And then many times we, we wait until the end, the end of the friendship, the end of the relationship, the end of whatever we had going on, right? And then we and all this could have been avoided if we would have, you know. The true, if we would have paid attention to the true colors, the true motives beforehand, because God's always, always speaking to us. Okay, like I said, many people don't hearken to the voice of the Lord. Okay, number three, number three will be you receive convictions. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, you receive convictions not to pursue someone or something. Okay, what do I mean by that? You receive convictions. There's going to be something that you know they call it the gut feeling. There's going to be something in your spirit, something in your soul. That you know is wrong, that you know that ah, you know, you know, you know, but your flesh, you know, your flesh is always trying to go against God. Your flesh is always trying to go, you know, things that's gonna lead you to death. So your so your spirit is raging war against your flesh. Whatever you feel that way when it comes to you know pursuing someone or something, okay, that is a sign that God is protecting you guys. That is a, that is the number one indicator. Okay, now that this is an order, but that's that's the sign, guys. I'm telling you, when it, when you receive uh, convictions, okay. And you just, like, you, there's something that you're getting, a, you know, whether it's a bad vibe, you know, whatever the case may be, you just don't feel right in your soul and your spirit. That is a sign, guys, that God's protecting you from evil. And like I said, God's always speaking to us. You know, maybe that the reason why you're feeling that way is because God's putting, putting, instilling that in you so you could, you know, hey, you know, maybe there's something I got to pray about. You know, maybe I got, you know, I got to, you know, ask God, you know, not just ask yourself, not just, you know, trust your own self. Maybe, you know, whenever you're feeling that way towards someone or something, that's always a time to pray and ask God for guidance. Always pray and ask God, is this supposed to be in my life or is this not supposed to be in my life? Because to some people, guys, they're coming in your life, they disguise themselves as a light. They disguise themselves as a Christian, you know, 
Uh, but the devil sends people in your life too, guys. So you got to be very careful, guys. Whenever you're feeling that way, guys, ooh, whenever you're feeling that way, those convictions early on, most of the time, I say most because sometimes you could be led. Sometimes guys is trying to bring y'all together, but you, you, you might be battling demonic strongholds, demonic spirits, and Satan doesn't want two people to come together. But sometimes, guys, you know, a lot of those times where you're feeling those convictions, the devil can send people your way too to destroy you. And like I said, the devil comes as an angel of light. So just because someone says they're a Christian or someone's nice to you, that doesn't really mean much. You know, you know a tree by its fruits. And like I said, God will show you early on. He will show you. Okay, if you're a child of God, he will show you. All right, number four is God uses someone to warn slash rebuke you, to warn or rebuke you, okay? There's many times in the Bible when uh, God was going to flood the earth. You know, he used Noah to warn people, y'all better repent. Okay, y'all, you know, be better take heed, you know, because God's about to flood this earth. His wickedness is increasing. No one wants to follow God. Everyone just wants to follow themselves, to trust their own heart, and they don't want to follow the Holy Spirit. So God used Noah to warn people, okay? And God and see, God was using Noah to warn people, right, to protect them from evil because they all perish. Okay, so there's many times in the Bible, many prophets, many messengers, whatever the case may be, he always God always used someone to warn someone, okay, to warn someone of you know of, e of evil coming, destruction coming. Okay, even Jonah, uh, the guy who was thrown in the well for three days, whatever how long, he used him. Okay, so God always uses people to warn someone to rebuke you. So if someone's someone's telling you, hey, watch out for him, you know, or watch out for her, or you know that thing that she's trying to do. Ah, uh, you know, you should you know ask God and pray about it. Okay, so oh, I'm telling you guys all the time, He always uses someone to warn him. We don't take heed to the warning. Look what happened to the people in the days of Noah. Okay, they all perish. So when you don't take heed to God's warning, when God's using someone to tell you, hey, take your time with that person. Not saying that you got to cut that person off, but take your time, take it slow, pray about it, you know, ask God, you know, because one thing about this, I can't speak for everyone else, but for me, when God's using me to warn someone, I always, you know, come in and love, not just like, hey, you got to stop doing that. But I'll let them know, like, hey, there are some consequences that comes with being with someone you, you're not supposed to be with. Okay, and that's, there are some consequences that come with being, some, being with someone who's an agent. You know, agent of Satan. There's some consequences to that, okay? A lot of people aren't trying to get right. They're just lukewarm, double-minded. They ain't trying to change, man. They ain't trying to repent. So they're on. They're, they're siding with Satan. They're, on, they're siding with the kingdom of darkness. You got to be very cautious for those people. All right, number five is, oh, yes. Okay, what was meant to harm you will end up benefiting you. Okay, there's many times in the Bible, guys. I like to back up everything I'm saying with the Bible. There's many times in the Bible where, like, um, for instance, uh, Joseph. There you go, Joseph, right? His brothers, they uh, they tried to kill him. They thought he was dead, you know, and, uh, you know, he ended up becoming the king of Egypt. So what was meant to harm him? And he ended up saving his family through that. So you see how God works? So what was meant to harm you? What was meant to be evil was meant to be good. I'll leave a verse right here. It's in um, Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. Okay. As for you, you thought evil of me, but God meant it to good to bring to many people to pass to save much people alive. I'm probably saying that wrong. So I'll leave a verse right here. Okay. So. What was meant to harm you, okay, that evil girlfriend, that, you know, that evil uh, boyfriend, okay, uh, some evil person, right, that was being used by Satan. Maybe they were an agent, you know, working with, they say, what, what is the agent? Someone who works for the devil, whether whether it's willingly or unwillingly. Now, some of these agents are unwillingly, they don't know, okay, but some people, they know, they know that there's a reward working for Satan. Just like us children of God, us children of the light, we know that there's a reward for working for, uh, working for God. Okay, being on the winning team, being on the Jesus' Jesus team, okay, there's a reward for that. And those people are the devil. They know there's a reward. You know, now at the end, they're going to be, you know, burned in the lake of fire, <laughs> you know, at the end. But on this life, they're going to be, you know, prospering. They're going to be prospering on this life. The saying, God bless people, God could bless people too. The, the devil is a copycat. He likes to imitate God. Okay, everything God does, he does the opposite. Okay, number six is when you pray, Yes, man. When you pray, God will answer no. Okay. So let's say you're praying for something to work out. You praying for uh him to change, her to change. You praying, God, please, God, please, please. And he answers multiple times no. Okay. And see, a lot of times when God says no, we get mad. You know, our, our human nature, our flesh, we get mad. We get mad. I got God. Why? Why? Why are you doing this? Okay. Sometimes we might be confused. You know, because we lack wisdom, we lack knowledge, we lack understanding. But when God says no, that's a form of protection. Okay. When people reject you, that's a form of, you know, protection. Okay. I'm going to put that up for number six too. Not only no, but when people reject you, 
That's just God's protection. Okay. Like I said, you're of the light. You're on the winning team. You're on Jesus' team. A lot of people that are on the enemy's team. And that's cool. They they chose that side. Okay. Whether only or willingly or knowingly. Okay. They chose that side. A. So always understand that, guys. When you get no, when you when you start praying to God and the answer is no, you know, or you know, people just reject you, or you know, certain things get rejected. Now there was many times, guys, in the, when I was younger, I had times to go in to, to be in movies and Hollywood, and things didn't work out. Okay, that was just God, and I'm so glad because I didn't know Hollywood was evil back then. I had no idea. Okay, it wasn't until I got older and I'm like, wow, God was just you know protecting me. Okay, and that was just the rejected. Okay, He was protect. Wow, now it makes sense. As I got older, I got I gained more wise. I got more I got wisdom. Okay, so always understand that, guys. Don't be sad when certain things don't work out, uh, when certain people don't change, or you know when that thing that you've been working hard for and you've been grinding for years and months and weeks that doesn't work out because that could just be God's protection and God always has something better for you. Like I could attest to that from my testimony. God always has something better for you. So I understand in that moment we could feel some type of way. I, I get it, you know, but just tr you got, that's why you got to have trust in God. You got to have faith in God and understand that his plans for your life is better for your plans for your life. Just because we don't know at the moment, at the present moment, we got to, you know, have that trust in God and understand that, okay, I'm going, what I'm going through, God's going to deliver uh, me from, uh, God's going to, you know, move me to mount. I'm going to be able to move mountains. I'm going to be able to do this and that through your faith. And remember guys, you just want to have faith as a mustard seed. It doesn't have to be a huge faith. This has to be a little bit, this little bit small. It's probably even smaller. I wish I had, I'm going to buy a mustard seed for a video so I can show you guys how small it is. That's all you need. Just have a little bit of faith, man, and water that seed. Every time you, every, every day, guys, you got to water that. And how do you water it? Through prayer, okay? Through fasting. So, you know, just, you know, keep that, have your belief. You know, that's the most important thing. Every time you're watering it, so your belief, just keep on watering it. Okay, number seven is you're going to feel, you will feel sense of protection from the unseen realm. And what is that, guys? Those are angels. Yes, I believe in angels. The Bible talks about angels. It says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2, it says, um, don't, uh, don't, uh, be not worried to entertain strangers for some have entertained angels unaware. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'll leave a verse right here on the screen, okay? So, yes, guys, whenever you feel like a sense of protection, like when you, when you go to the gas station, uh, when you go out, you know, to, to get to a restaurant, or whatever the case may be. Let's say maybe you're out, you're out at nighttime, okay? And you just feel a sense of protection. You don't have fear. You're not, you're not worn. You're not looking, you know, you're not afraid. Because you know in the unseen spiritual realm, okay, that there's angels around you protecting you, watching over you, okay? Best believe it. Even the Bible says that the people who fear God will have angels protecting them, okay? I'll leave that verse right here. That's in Th Psalms 34, verse 7. Okay, these are the seven signs God's protecting you from evil. Okay, there's always a delay. Number one, there's always a delay or detour in your plans. Number two, you find out someone's true colors early on. Number three, you receive convictions not to pursue someone or something. Number four, God uses someone to warn you slash rebuke you. Number five, what was meant to harm you will end up benefiting you. Number six, when you pray, God will answer no. And, you know, rejection is God's protection. And number seven is sense of uh, you will feel the sense of protection from someone from the unseen world okay i hope you guys learned some of this video if you have already make sure you guys smash the like button subscribe to the channel check out this end screen right here and share this video and all social media platforms and you guys wish to support me my links are down below in the description i love you guys so much i'm out peace